Hi, today I'm going to discuss with you on Swedish model against Quad 19. And uh, I think this is my number seven video on Swedish model against uh, Quad 19. And I start, the first one start is uh, made in April 19, 2020. So if we want to get more details on the Swedish model against Quad 19, you mean go to my channel and search for this video. I think this is number seven video for this uh, Swedish model against Quad 19 from me. And before we go to the, the model, let's have a look at this picture. And this is the picture that the uh, Swedish authority tried to promote this uh, Swedish Quad 19 vaccines and try to attract people to get vaccination against Quad 19. And the set is accidentally used this picture. This is a height pen. You can see very clearly that from the expression of the face of this guy and this very, very hugely suppressed pen and all hugely suppressed discomfort. And the set is, this is an accident, but ironically, and this is not accident this reflect the real situation and uh, for Swedish authorities deal with this quad 19 infection or quad 19 pandemic uh, the pain is real and you cannot suppress the pain you cannot hide the pain especially to the people to the families who lost the loved one during this during this uh, quad 19 infection I think it is more than 10,000 people lost their life due to the Quad 19 infection. For these people and the loved one, the family, and it's hard to hide the pain. The pain is real. And now let's go to see the model of the Swedish model against Quad 19. Again, this. This is uh, this is number seven of my update on the Swedish model. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to my previous video, and there's a lot of information. And it's nice to see that we can see the progress from now, one year ago from now. And the Swedish model against COVID-19, it basically, is life is more or less normal. They have normal life. They know any lockdown and people just do whatever they like. Of course, there's some kind of self quarantine. And here's the data from this uh, April 2nd, 2021. And the data is again from the World Ometer. It's a uh, free website. Anyone can get this data. Uh, I wish uh, the data is uh, correct, but all my data is get from this website. And so I always put this four Nordic country together, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Finland. And because this is uh, more comparable between these countries, they have the same population composition and similar geograph geograph uh, background, so it should be comparable. And also, when we look at data, we're going to try to look at total cases in uh, one million population, so it should be normalized, and so we get some kind of uh, comparative data between these four countries. So total cases in one million population, Population in Sweden is about 8,000. And this is about two times Denmark. And that is about five times of Norway, about six times of Finland. It's a huge difference. And in terms of total deaths in one million population, Sweden is more than 1,000. 
and that is about three times Denmark and ten times Norway and Finland. Again, I should point out in this four lot country, Sweden packs relaxed law, and other three countries usually they have uh, uh, struck uh, some kind of lockdown and try to control the virus. And that is the difference between these two four countries. And this is data from today, and this uh, showed daily new cases. And so between Sweden and Denmark, and Sweden still, as of today, the cases start to increase. But uh, you see that in Denmark, and uh, almost on the bottom of the trend, and uh, looks like in Sweden the trend is just still continue to increase. And here just total new cases. And not parameter we look at is the deaths, total deaths. Here just the deaths in Sweden they also reached the bottom. I wish this single level would not be the trend. And that's similar to Denmark. If this is trend is, is true, maybe this is good news for Sweden because looks like if you have infected this virus, you don't get very serious illness and such a death. And so you the infection by the quad 19 can be kind of natural vaccination. So actually it's, it's good for the population because then it will increase people which have immunity against this virus and just like part of herd immunity and in this case this is good news for Sweden again yeah so today is almost one year from my first video I we can see that the story of hindsight pain is is really true reflection of what is happening in Sweden so far, and they lost about more than ten thousand people. Again, for the family of the death, the pain is real; and it's hard to hide. And we we'll continue to follow this model to see what kind of effect. And this virus in different condition, one is relaxed condition, another is more uh, restricted condition. And we see, but the data is still not finalized. We need maybe years, years to see the final outcome of COVID-19 uh, impact on the population. But we going to, I'm going to follow this as long as I can. So today is almost one year. On my first video, I myself actually look at this, uh, my first video today. It's amazing that uh, in the beginning, there's all these four countries almost have uh, similar uh, cases, similar number of cases, but because Sweden and uh, take a relaxed measure, the, their number is, is really increased significantly. And that's talk for today. I wish to see you in my next video and wish you healthy and happy. Bye.